Hi, my name is Alex Williams. I'm the head of animation at Escape Studios and the founder of the online animation school, Animation Apprentice. And I want to talk about what goes into a great demo reel. And a demo reel is really important because a, an animator's demo reel is the single most important thing you have that will help you find work. If you have a great demo reel, then no matter how inexperienced you are, you have a great chance of finding work in the industry. If your demo reel isn't good enough, then your chances are much slimmer. So we concentrate, I concentrate on making sure that every graduating student has a great demo reel. Now, I think that there are seven things, approximately seven things that make up a great reel. Uh, number one, put your best work up front. Uh, number two, uh, no mistakes. Um, if in doubt, leave it out. Number three, uh, customize your reel for the job. Don't have a one size fits all reel. Um, number four, be online, be super easy to find. Number five, put your name and contact details at the front and the end of the reel so that you're really easy to contact. Number six, this one probably should be up front, keep it short. And uh, number seven, um, be clear what you did and what other people did and never claim credit for other people's work because it's a small industry and you will be found out. So those are the seven things. So let's talk about each one of them briefly in turn. So number one, put your best work up front. This should be obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people don't do it. Uh, remember that when, you're, when your reels are being looked at, typically they're being looked at by an animation supervisor or perhaps a producer, someone who's hiring. They might be looking at a dozen reels during their lunch break. They're eating a sandwich. They've got the thing. Uh, you know, they're, 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 they're looking through reels quickly. You need to impress them fast. So they, your fir the first thing you show them needs to grab them and say, this is a talented animator. So your best work goes up front and then um, probably your second best shot either goes after that or maybe at the end. So you've got uh, something nice at the end. But be aware that often people won't go to the end. You know, they will we'll come on to keep it short in a minute. But absolutely important. Your best work goes up front. Number two, no mistakes. Uh, if in doubt, leave it out is my motto. So the thing about any, if there are any mistakes in the work, like little kind of annoying jiggles or bumps or bad transitions, if you, if you have mistakes in your work, then people looking at your work will assume that either you, you saw the mistake and couldn't fix it, or you didn't see the mistake. And either way, that sends a very bad message to, um, to a potential employer. So that's the second rule, uh, no mistakes. <clears throat> Number three is customize your reel for the job. I see all the time people applying for creature work at Framestore with a cartoony animation reel or the other way around. They've got a creature reel and they're applying for Pixar and you, you really want to make sure that you know you your reel is flexible, your reel is a work in progress and you can tailor it to suit um, uh, the company you're applying for. So I always recommend that people have two reels a kind of cartoony performance reel and a separate um, animal or creature animation reel. Um, and you can have, you know, sometimes people don't have enough work to to um, to cut separate reels, but just be very aware that, you know, if you send in a lot of creature stuff to, to a kind of cartoony house like Blue Zoo or Jellyfish, then they're not really going to be that interested in it. So make sure you understand what it is that you're applying for and, and recut your reel for the job. Um, number four is be online, be easy to find. Um, this is really important these days. Um, you know, the days of sending in your reel are long gone. You, you recruiters want to be able to find you easily. And uh, if you've watched my other videos, you'll have heard me talk a lot about LinkedIn. LinkedIn has become a kind of one stop shop for recruiters now. So um, recruiters will find your profile at LinkedIn, uh, bookmark it or make a note of it. And, and they will expect your demo reel to be linked to your LinkedIn profile so that they can go to you at LinkedIn, click on the link to your demo reel, and then they're right there, not password protected, easy to find, be online, be at YouTube, be at Vimeo, be at LinkedIn, be super easy to find. Ideally have your own um, uh, website, um, but that's not essential. It's, it's a nice to have, but the important thing is that people can find your work easily. OK, rule number five, uh, name and contact details at the front of your reel. Um, make sure that you're at the at the front of your reel. It's got your name, your uh, website address, if you've got one, your telephone number and your email address. 
and that should also be the back end of the reel as well because the, by the time the person has got to the end of your reel if they like your stuff they're going to want to get in touch with you they don't want to go back to the beginning to find your contact details so name and contact details at the front and the end rule number six keep it short remember people are busy they're in a hurry they may watch 10 20 seconds of your reel before they decide they're not interested or they may have made their mind up within the first 10 or 20 seconds so your reel should be a distillation of your best work for a student reel maybe a minute long minute and a half maximum but certainly no longer than that um, once you once you get into the industry and you've got more stuff on your reel you can you can make it um, make it longer and finally don't show other people's work now this should be really obvious but you'd be surprised how many people do it sometimes accidentally um, the important thing is if you if you've got let's say you worked on one character in a shot and there's an there's another character in the shot that you didn't animate just put something in the shot to say really clearly uh, what you did and then what the other person did so those are the seven, seven uh, rules best work up front no mistakes customize your reel for the job name and contact details at the front and the end uh, keep it short don't show stuff you didn't do if you do all those things you have a great demo reel you'll be well on your way to finding work in the animation industry <laughs>